Thank you so much for tuning in to today's broadcast. My name is Pastor Joseph Lakam from Forward in Faith Ministries International. And I'm so excited that you made your time to come so we can study and learn together from the Word of God. If you happen to be around the city of Hobart in Tasmania, we invite you to come and worship with us every Sunday morning, 10 a.m. We meet at number 7A, Raymond Terrace in Mount Stewart. Every Sunday morning, 10 a.m. at number 7A, Raymond Terrace in Mount Stewart. Come, you will surely be blessed. Now, before we get into today's word, shall we just pray? Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, oh, how we thank you, how we bless your name for yet another opportunity of studying and learning from your word, hearing your voice. Speak to us by your Holy Spirit. Encourage us, build us, instruct us in your ways, and take all the glory for all that you will do in this broadcast. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. And if you haven't as yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, please just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, Make sure you don't miss any of these broadcasts. They are intended to equip you, to challenge you, to motivate you to live the kind of life that God wants you to live. And that's nothing else but life in abundance. There is a life that God intends his people to live. It's called life in abundance. Remember John 10:10, 10, 10, Jesus came so that you and I may have life have it to the full until it overflows other versions say but the king james version says have life and have it more abundantly praise god today we are talking on a subject from the book of galatians we uh, are going to galatians chapter 6 verse 9 or oh, we can never exhaust this passage of scripture galatians 6 verse 9 it reads here, and let us not grow weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. And let us grow weary in doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Now we touched on this scripture in another broadcast, talking about hanging in there, not quitting. And let's continue on the vein of holding on. Don't lose heart. Don't lose heart. That's the title of this sharing. Don't lose heart. The scripture here is encouraging us and say, don't grow weary. Don't get tired. Don't lose hope in doing good. Because in due season, we shall reap if we do not faint or if we do not give up. This is a very encouraging scripture. Many a times when we are on a journey towards an intended goal or destination, the temptations to quit, the temptations to give up are so many. And we said in the other broadcast, when you are tempted to quit, it's not a sign. It's not because you are on the wrong path. Even when you are on the right path, when you are on a, your God-given uh, assignment, when you are on your God-given mandate, it's possible to be tempted to give up. It's possible to be tempted to quit. Even when you have put on resolutions and decisions that I want to live this way, this is beneficial for me, this is good for me. I want to be exercising, I want to be studying, I want to maintain a good relationship with my spouse, with my children. Even when you do those kind of things, it will not always be easy. The temptations to quit, the temptations to settle for the less will always be there. But the scripture is encouraging us here, don't grow weary in doing good. So don't lose heart. In your doing good, don't lose heart. Don't lose your passion. Don't lose your zest in doing good. Winston Churchill said, success is moving from failure to failure without losing enthusiasm or without using your passion, without losing your heart, 
when you manage to move from one setback to the other, from one hurdle to the other, from one challenge to the other, but you still maintain your vigor, you still maintain your, your passion, you still maintain your heart in it, you are a success. You are a success. Now, why is it important that we do not lose heart in our endeavors? It's true that when we are on a journey to achieving, good things don't come cheap and they don't come just quickly. When you are, have given yourself to indulge in building a healthy home, a healthy relationship, a healthy body, or whatever it is, a, a beautiful career, it does not come cheap. It comes with a lot of investment of time and effort. And because it takes time, the temptation to quit comes a lot of times. But you have to know that when you hang in there, when you don't lose your heart, when you keep at it, when you keep working on it, you increase your chances of achieving that which you want to achieve. There is what they call the law of averages. The law of averages tells us that when you keep working on something, the longer you do it, the more you increase your chances of achieving what you want to achieve. When you keep working on that goal, when you keep working on that dream, when you keep working on that vision, you are increasing your chances day by day of getting to that gold vein, of hitting uh, the, the, that landmark. Oh yes. So what's the word? Hang in there. Don't give up. Don't give up. And the main reason why you ought to hang in there, the main reason why you ought not to lose heart is because there is an anticipation of a turn of events tomorrow. That anticipation, that looking forward to a change of things tomorrow should keep your momentum should keep your passion high to say things will not remain like this forever so i will keep holding on i will not lose heart i will not lose my passion i will keep working at this because tomorrow is gonna be different we have to understand that there are times and seasons to this life every day is not the same every month is not the same there are times there are seasons so when you want to enjoy in the next season, you have to do the work in this season. Oh, yes. L let's show a scripture here. God instituted times or seasons. Let's check in Genesis. Genesis chapter uh, 8 here. Genesis 8 verse 22. Genesis eight twenty-two. Hear what the scripture says. While the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest cold and heat summer and winter day and night shall not cease so as long as the earth remains there will be seasons there will be a change of seasons as long as the earth remains there will be seed time there will be harvest time there will be cold there will be heat there will be summer there will be winter there will be day and there will be night now it will be naive to think that all life will be winter it will be naive to think that all the days of my life will be night no 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 god has instituted seasons so we are saying because the season will change hang in there things might not be working on your favor today but it's not gonna be like that forever the seasons will change and they will change for your good if you hold on if you don't lose your passion, if you don't lose heart, if you keep working on that dream, on that vision, on that goal, when the seasons change, it will work on your favor. Oh yes, it will work on your favor. Let, let's see another scripture from Ecclesiastes. What does uh, Ecclesiastes say? Listen to Ecclesiastes here, chapter 3. Ecclesiastes chapter 3. He says from verse 1, to everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven to everything there is a season do you see that there is a season so by understanding that there are seasons we do the preparatory work before the seasons come oh yes you see when 
the time to plant or the time to sow comes and that's when you start preparing the field you have missed it you have missed it the field is prepared well before the season when the season of sowing comes you have to start sowing because if you do the preparation in the season of the sowing then you have missed the season you will not enjoy the harvest when the season of harvest comes you have nothing to harvest because it works in cycles it's a season oh praise the lord so i'm saying to you in the season where you are in don't lose your passion don't lose heart don't lose heart can you imagine if you were a farmer and you see your other farmers at work in winter doing winter plow they are preparing their fields they are doing all that and you are just chilling at home and saying oh i have just to in, i've got to enjoy this uh, uh fireplace this heater here i can't go out there i'll wait when it gets warmer that's when i'll go and work you will be behind time and by the time these guys are sowing you are pre we are preparing the field by the time they are harvesting you are sowing so you are behind in seasons and actually if you are behind in seasons the seasons won't work on your favor they won't work in your to your advantage oh yes we are saying today don't lose heart don't lose your passion don't lose your vigor the seasons will change keep your passion alive keep your your desire your hunger to achieve alive continue to be passionate continue to work on that dream day in day out continue to work on that dream the scripture concludes by saying in due season you will reap remember we said when you move from one hurdle to the other without losing enthusiasm then you are a success when you lose move from one challenge to the other when you move from one hurdle to the other without losing your enthusiasm you are a success why are you a success because in due season there is a harvest that will come you see the law of averages tells us that there will be a turn of events the scriptures tell us here that there will always be a change of season it's not gonna be night all the time a day will come it's not gonna be winter all year round no summer will come it's not gonna be planting and sowing all year round no a harvesting season will come so the apostle says here in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart if we do not faint let's close with a scripture from uh, the book of psalms i love this one psalms 126 psalms 126 uh, verse number five i love this listen to this 126 of psalms verse number five it reads they that sow in tears shall reap in joy they that sow in tears shall reap in joy listen to verse number six it says he that goeth forth weeping bearing precious seed shall doubtlessly come again with rejoicing bringing his sheaves with him oh do you see that so this person here he is sowing in pain in tears things are not well it's not comfortable it's painful things are tough but they are going there they are sowing they are doing all the effort they are putting the energy they are putting all the effort they are taking the time to do what is supposed to be done yes verse 6 says they go forth they saw weeping they saw crying but they will doubtlessly they will come back and they will be holding their harvest with joys it will be all smiles when it's harvest time the word today is don't lose heart the time for harvest will come keep investing keep working hard keep putting effort keep working hard on that vision on that dream on that marriage on that relationship on that child keep putting effort don't lose heart a time of harvest will come things will turn around praise the lord god bless you so much we pray that you have been blessed we encourage you to share the broadcast with your brethren make sure they are being blessed just as you are being blessed shall we pray as we close dear heavenly father in the name of jesus oh thank you for reminding us that we ought not to lose heart 
We have to keep holding on. We have to keep working on this. And thank you for the assurance in scripture that the seasons will change and will come back rejoicing of all our labors. Thank you, Father. Bless your people. And thank you for the grace upon each and every one of us. The grace to keep holding on. The grace to keep pushing. The grace to keep going forward. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you so much. Hey, till we meet again in the next broadcast. Keep living life in abundance.